Modeling with Algebra, question 11. One of the equal sides of an isosceles triangle is 3 less than 2 times its base. Find the length of each side of this triangle if its perimeter is 32 centimeters. So let's first sketch a isosceles triangle, right? Here is one. And let the base be x. And these are my two equal sides, right? So let's define our variables. So in modeling, what we do is normally we can sketch. That is the first step. And then we should define all our variables. So here the variable is base, right? Because we are trying to write equations in terms of base of this isosceles triangle, okay? So we say let the base be x. So this let statement is a must to declare all your variables, correct? Let the equal sides be s each, right? So let's say this is x and these sides are for us s and s. It helps sometimes to write two variables, sometimes. Now, how are these things related? One of the equal sides of an isosceles triangle is 3 less than 2 times its base. That means S is 3 less than 2 times. So we'll, we'll write 2 times first. 2x minus 3. Do you see that? That is what side is. So if this is x, this side is 2x minus 3 and this side is also 2x minus 3. Correct? Now the question is, find the length of each side of this triangle if its perimeter is 32. Now what is perimeter? Perimeter is sum of all the sides, right? So perimeter for us is x plus s plus s all the three sides, right? All the three sides. This is an isosceles triangle and therefore these two sides are equal. Any two could be equal. We took these two as equal sides, correct? Now let's place all the values. 32 for perimeter, so we get 32 here. And x is our variable for the base. And instead of s, which is the sides, We'll write 2x minus 3, correct? We'll write plus 2x minus 3 plus 2x minus 3, correct? Now we can combine the like terms. So we get x plus 2x, 3x, 3x plus 2x, 5x. So we get 5x minus, minus 3, minus 3, minus 6 is equals to 32. So we have a linear equation here, a simple equation where we have to find the value of x, right? To find this value of x, we should get rid of 6. So we'll add 6 on both sides. So we get 32 plus 6 equals to 5x minus 6 plus 6, correct? 32 plus 6 is 38 equals to 5x minus 6 plus 6 is 0, so we get 5x. Now to find x, we need to divide both sides by 5. So we get x is equals to 38 divided by 5. So that is the value of x which we get. So let's solve it here. So what we get is x is equals to 38 divided by 5. Now 38 divided by 5 is 5 goes 7 times and so we get 7 times is 35 and then we get 30 which is 6 so 7.6 wow we got our answer in decimal places so don't be afraid of that i think you can handle the decimals right 7.6 that is the length x and remember perimeter was given to us in centimeters therefore all these side lengths will be in centimeter correct so 
When you define your variables, you could have written like this also. Let the base be x centimeter. Right? Let equal sides be s each in centimeter. So you can include units while defining your variables. Let's move on. So x, the base is 7.6 centimeters for us. What are the side lengths? So we can now say side lengths are 2 times x, which is 2 times 7.6 minus 3, right? Minus 3. So that gives us 2 times 7.6 minus 3. So 2 times 6 is 12, 2 and 1, 15.2 minus 3. That gives us 12.2, right? So therefore our answer is, well, before writing answer, we can check. So let's check our perimeter. Is it really 32 centimeters? So it is kind of important to check your answer also. Let's check. So some of the sides are as parameter and we get sides as 7.6 plus 12.2 plus 12.2. So 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 0, point. 1, 3, 4, 5, 12, 2, 1, 2, 3, 32.0. Perfect. So that is perfect. So we can write down our answer as the side lengths are 7.6 are, so centimeter. Don't forget to write units here. This is most important. 12.2 centimeter and 12.2 centimeter. So that is how we are going to solve this problem. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you.